Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, generate SQL code in Excel. Uh, we often get data in Excel and that data like this here, this is data from Open Food. Uh, this is a, a website, uh, 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 sorry, Open Food Facts, which has all the food facts to every certain foods like calories, like proteins and so on. This is just a small subset of it all and I wish to include this um, this data into a, uh, a database, uh, a SQL database, and I've already set up the table uh, with those columns, and all columns are text. So how do I generate the SQL code quickly, uh, insert that stuff? And that's like a small small data set. Normally, you would have hundreds or thousands of columns. How, co how could I easily do that? Well, let's first of all get the insert code, for instance. It doesn't matter whether you use insert or update code, for SQL, it's basically the same procedure. And uh, let me get let me get the general form of the SQL code first. So this is the general form of, of the of an insert uh, statement in SQL. And the way you generate that code in uh, in Excel is basically through uh, um, string or text concatenation. So you just build and the way you concatenate something in Excel is simply like this equal, and then you can click on the first one, and then with an ampersand. You can either add some text between that and the next uh, concatenation. For instance, if I wish to add, let's let's do it simply. Now this concatenates both uh, A2 and B2, and you'd have them all in one word. If I wish to have a space in between, uh, the way it goes is like this: A2, and then ampersand, open uh, open quotation, space, close quotation, ampersand, and then the next cell. So now I have basically concatenated both with a space. I can even within that, within that empty space, I can put anything I want. So for instance, if I put an add, so then I would have that. So this is the way you can concatenate in Excel. And you can use this uh, trick to basically generate your SQL. And all you have to do down, if you see the beauty of it all, if you do it in Excel, you can just autofill and you'd have all that concatenation uh, taking place for those cells you autofilled in. And that applies to SQL code as well. So let's get started. And first of all, equal. Now, first of all, comes this, this stuff. Insert into table name, everything until the first paran. This is a, basically a fixed string applicable to all. So I just might as well write it within, um, you know, quotation marks, uh, quotations. So insert into, and then the table name, I've called it demo table or demo table. Right, so and then I open paran, and now I close quotation. Now comes the first column, ampersand. That's the first column name, and one one thing to remember: when you autofill downwards, that cannot change. That cannot become a two because a two is not the the column's name or a three or so on. So that's why you gotta fix it. The way you do it is just press the F four key, and you have these dollar signs. These dollar signs in Excel mean that. When you autofill downwards, this cell or this cell reference will not change. So we got our first column. And let me do another thing. I'd like to enclose my columns in square brackets. So I'm just doing the first square bracket and then ampersand, open column. Now I close my square bracket for that thing, put the comma, and then open up the next square bracket for the next column. Uh, and then close quotation ampersand and now comes the next column and then ampersand open quotation now comes the closing square bracket of that second column a comma uh, opening square bracket of the third column and quotation mark okay and let's see if I got it right now if I just uh, copy that into a text editor uh, yeah, it looks it looks right. Insert into demo table, product name, brands, and now comes here the third piece. So I'm on the right track. So let's let let me finish that thing up. So now I've reached the uh, the final column, and then I just ampersand open co uh, co um, quotation marks, closing square bracket, closing paran, and now comes the string values, open paran, close quotation. And now one thing I have to remember is just F4 each of these, so they're fixed cell references. They don't change when going down, right? So now I have 
my string. I've done this part of the string with the columns, and now I, I just go about it the same way with the values and the values because in the in the SQL table, all columns are text, so all values get enclosed in single quotes. So I go values single quote close quotation. Now comes the first field or the first value. That's the first value. Now in this case, in contrast to the columns, I don't fix that with F4 because that has to change when I autofill downwards. So that stays like this. Ampersand, open quotation, single quote, comma, single quote of the second value, close quotation, and so on. So basically it's the same thing as with the columns, except in contrast to the columns, this doesn't get fixed with F4. And instead of um, square brackets, I'm enclosing everything in single quotes. Right, and let's do the, let's do the second one. And closing quote, comma, open quote of the next one, uh, close quotation. Let's see, let's check the code if that's all okay. So, and let's see how the code looks. Well, I've got the table, uh, uh, field names are okay, values enclosed in single quotes as well. So it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna just finish it up. So I've reached the final value. Single quote, then I got the closing round bracket, and then the semicolon for the SQL and close. So now that should be my insert, complete insert code. Let me just check it out. And everything looks right. Great. So that's my first insert statement, and it works. So all I gotta do now is basically just just get in this formula and just double click so it, it auto fills downwards and there we go and I have my SQL code my insert statements and now all I gotta do is let's take that thing off just copy and I'm gonna take it to my SQL database so here's an SQLite database I've created my demo table and it's empty it's got nothing in it and now i can execute sql and just get the sql from excel execute it and my table is full so i just copy the whole column and then in the sqlite just paste and i've got all my code in here and i just execute And it just did it. And if I look, if I go to browse data, I've got all that data in my columns, in my in my table. And that way, with such a method, you can easily create insert or update code for SQL, and you can do it easily in Excel. I know initially it's a hassle building that formula, but like now we only got like 69 data sets. But if you like have hundreds of of of, uh, of rows, I think this would be a very fast way of inserting that data in SQL without resorting to, you know, doing any loops or in some language or something. You just do it very simply in Excel. The same is valid for uh, if you wish to create a list of tables or you wish to update a, a bunch of records. I think Excel can be very helpful here without resorting to any coding, any programming, and you don't need any coding knowledge. Uh, furthermore, I mean, when using Excel to basically generate your SQL strings. I hope that video helped you. Uh, please feel free to comment and give me your feedback uh, in the comment section below.